Hi, hi guys. Um, I've been on the Chalfa forums here, and I believe it's in Java Help. I may be wrong there, but a lot of people have been asking about how do they do sound. So I thought I'd just. Oh, I thought that was it. Let me close the tab. Uh, buckle up sound. Um, I think others also mentioned. Ah, 89's sound. So I thought I'd do that. Um, first, we're just going to want to get some sound clips to play. So go to BFXR. Or just search BFXR. And this is an online thing, used to the Lidlam Day competition. You can get a downloadable one, but it's kind of pointless. So just hit randomize. You can hear it gives some pretty weird stuff. That's something. I'll, I'll save that one. Save to disk. Just save that, and you want to go to. Well, I'm just going to save it to my desktop for now because I've not actually created the project. So you save it to for now, export. So I'm going to export to desktop. Now if I minimise all of that and go down to my desktop. That saves. That should play. It probably won't. There we go. On this media player. And that plays a sound. Okay, so now go to your uh, IDE. Just got a base class set up here, so I'll just copy and paste that. Sound. Okay, so I can close that now. Go to sounds source com main. Okay, yes. So I'm not going to call that sound. Okay, this is just a nice little setup it uses canvas like in my last tutorial except it's not implemented the pixels yet so what we're going to do is actually implement how we're going to play the sound so we'll add a new class private sound sound and create a new class Create class sound. Finish. Okay, um, so now we've got sound, we want to call public sound. And we're going to give that a string file name. Okay, now we'll just create. Uh, a try catch, try catch exception e e dot print stack trace. Okay. Okay. Next, we're going to want to uh, create a private audio clip. So private audio clip. I believe it is clip. Should have to import that. Yep, yeah, there we go. Try clip equals applet dot new audio clip sound dot get resource. If I know it's in it, sound dot class dot get resource file name. Okay, now let's create some file names. Uh, do do it here. Um, okay, uh, we won't create that now. Uh, we'll do public, instead, we'll just create the play method public void play. Okay, um, 
Now what we're going to be doing in here is actually telling it to play. So um, again we're going to need to try catch. Try catch exception x is up print stack trace. Okay, now what we're going to do in the try. Um, within the trial, we're actually going to try and create a new thread. So, new thread um, dot start. Just down there. Okay. Uh, now, within the thread, uh, within the thread, what we're going to want to say is, how oh, was it? We need to say just say. Okay, never mind. Um, public. Avoid run clip dot play. And that's it. That's your sound class made. So, but if we run this now, nothing happens. No sound. So we'll go to the initialization class. And was in fact no, never mind. Um, let's shift those to the right. Sound clip randomize four. I'm going to drag and drop this into my resources. Copy files. That's now there. Just refresh it to make sure. Um, now that's got a little symbol next to it. That's because I've gone to properties, build path, and added it a class folder and selected sound resources. But it's not actually there because I've just copy and pasted it. So if I close that. So here, okay. Um, that'll just if I export the jar now, randomize will be there and it'll work. Um, so let's just rename that to something slightly more usable. Sound dot wav. Okay. So up here we've declared sound, so we'll say sound equals new sound. Um, how are we going to call this? Uh, it's a file name, isn't it? So four slash sound dot wav. Okay. Okay. Um, we'll change this actually. So just cut that and go back into our sound class. Now up here, I'm just going to say public. Public static final sound sound. Uh, we'll give it uh, sound one. So we don't have everything called sound equals new sound sound dot wav. We'll just declare that up there. Now in main, we can go to in our initial init class. We're going to call sound dot Sound one dot play. Now let's see what happens if we run this. We play our sound. Now that doesn't actually seem like that much, but that is a very useful thing because if you say had a game where you have people hitting other uh, hitting enemies, every time you hit an enemy, you can just call sound dot hit dot play and it will play that sound so hope you guys like this and I'll render this um, as quickly as I can uh, thanks for watching